Uh, hello YouTube, back once again with my Heroes Reborn review, and here we are with episode, um, six, six game over. Uh, sorry I didn't have an episode five review up, um, the Lion's Den. I was busy, and really, guys, nothing really happened in that episode. It was really basically all the characters walking around in a giant circle that week. Only, really only significant things was, um, uh, the samurai girl got her sword back, and, um, there's that, and, uh, there's that, the characters finally know what the master plan is, is to wipe out humanity, and that, and Tommy learned, that's his name, right, the, the, uh, warping kid, he learned that he has to save the world, that's basically, oh, and the invisible woman died, and I didn't care in the slightest, I did not care, um, so, but, so, really, I would say, uh, slightly better, I would say that episode was slightly better than premiere, it was probably the worst episode since the premiere, so, there's that, but here we are with episode 6, game over, and I gotta say, this is probably the best episode of the season so far, oh, and I'll also say, I quickly forgot, uh, episode five, but in episode five, also, I also really liked Chuck's performance in that episode, just seeing him, like, completely broken, just, br like, selling everything that made him him, and then burning his house down, I thought that was he, Chuck gave a very effective performance in that episode, so that, there's that, but episode six, game over, um, so, uh, yeah, all I can say, uh, area by area, um, well, first there is the story with, uh, the, the, uh, the vigilante guy who's trying to save his nephew and the priest, uh, I'll say this, even though I still think it's the worst story, it was slightly be it was better this week, cause, like, at least he has now a goal besides just doing stupid vigilante justice, he's, like, now trying to break into, like, where they contain the heroes, so, um, there's that. That was it. Was slightly more interesting this week, so I'll give that credit. Uh, definitely a step in the right direction. Um, then there was uh, then there was the story with uh, God. What's her name? Uh, there was the story uh, with uh, Tommy and um, and uh, his girlfriend. Uh, I thought that I thought this was good, just mainly for the fact those two actors were still as charming as ever with each other. Um, I did like the fact that he finally did what I would just think, like, dude, if I had the power to go anywhere I wanted just by the thought, I would have a, I would have some fun with it, like, and he did, like, he, like, just, he saw that his, that his girl, his girlfriend wanted to go to Paris, warped her to Paris, and, uh, yeah, and then they just had a nice time, I did like how it showed he was a bit angsty, though, just saying, like, I was just told that I'm adopted and I have to go save the world, I'm a bit emotionally scarred, but... That, but I liked how the how his uh, girlfriend wasn't just a smiling was wasn't just smiling. She she actually helped him through it. And he and she was even kind of just like well like fuck you in a few part like when she like when he risked their lives. I thought that was good. But uh, then it ended with him with her removing his tracker and uh, now they're uh, uh, he she removes his tracker and uh, and they and they kiss and that's that story. But it it, it held up because those two actors were still just so charming with each other. Uh, so there's that. Uh, then there's basically the then there's the story with uh Chuck and the Lightbender or Airbender. I don't know what this one's goddamn power is. Um, that was effective. Just seeing Chuck trying to commit suicide and then um feeling that his life has no reason anymore and uh. Then, uh, then the girl, then the, and then the Bender girl saving her, saving him, and then relearning that he has to, she has to go find Tommy, and then, and Chuck, even though the last time he saw Tommy, he tried to kill him, it just feels like he finally has purpose now, trying to, gonna try and help her find, uh, Tommy, and, um, I, I, my guess, though, is this, is this, is what will happen is they will run into his wife, and this will either end with Chuck taking a bullet for her, or, um, him, or Chuck shooting, shooting his wife, one of the two, what, what, the, it ends one of the, these two ways for Chuck, but, uh, anyway, so, uh, still, uh, there was some nice, there was some, uh, the, uh, those two had some nice bonding with each other, so it, it was decent, their story this week, it was just sad seeing how depressed Chuck was, uh, God, that actor, he's good looking depressed, I'll say that. Um, so, there's that this week. Uh, then there's basically the story with everyone else this week, uh, as they all break into the headquarters to try to save Hero. Um, 
So there was that. Uh, we fought, we went back into the virtual game world again. That still looks so terrible, but uh, still, um, though, um, the the samurai girl and that gamer guy, they still have a really fun kind of camaraderie with each other. So they were still a lot of fun to watch. Uh, some of the lines they did, I liked how quick on his feet this guy was just when she was just like i need help and he just like well i have my computer i was like i thought that was pretty funny and uh that and it basically ends they find they get to the heart of the area and um and it, oh yeah no and then uh that guy um that guy who's been traveling with noah who uh, has been looking for a sister gets killed by his sister uh who was that shadow demon girl who cared, killed the invisible woman um she that uh, that was effectively I was surprised I did not think that guy would die but he did so that was kind of sad and uh, then while that's going on um, uh, the samurai girl like is trying to save her dad and learns that in the game and learns that she, he that she may not be real and the real he, hero's real daughter may have died but but she's still and if she lets him out he dies but she's willing to sacrifice it but her last challenge is basically shadow version of herself and oh god well, well once again look terrible you know they could have at least had a really fun stupid joke nerdy joke there if like when she like went back if like just the gamer goes like okay did you try running into the corner and just slashing your sword back and forth like i would be that would have been a really fun nerdy joke right there if they went uh gamer joke if they did that but uh Guess not. Guess they didn't feel like going that way, and um, so there's that, and then then this just then it ends with sh sh with uh the samurai girl just breaking a uh, hero out, and right before Noah gets shot, and hero's back, and he teleports uh Noah back, and he saves Noah at the last second, and then well, what it was freaking awesome to see hero again, uh, only a mere six episodes into a thirteen episode. 13 episode miniseries do we finally get one of the returning characters besides Noah, but whatever, um... And, uh, and they say we have to go back in time on the day of the explosion and, and save the history, and I have no idea what they're trying to do, but that's where the episode ends. Um, so yeah, that's the episode. Um, I'll say, so, um, I'll say this, uh... Story with the vigilante was okay. Uh, story with Chuck and the Bender girl was good. Uh, story with uh, t was uh, was with uh, Tommy and his girlfriend was actually was good and um, was good. And I thought the story with everyone was, was actually pretty great. Uh, heroes action thing like felt felt very fun and super powery powery. I don't know what you would say, whatever you would say. So uh, yeah, I'd say this was actually the first like great episode of the season. So good job, writers. Only took you six episodes, but that's the good news, guys. Six episodes. We're halfway there, halfway to the end of Heroes Reborn. So thank freaking God. Um, so I don't know. Maybe the rest if, if the rest of the season could keep up like this, I'd say this was actually you know it started off slow. It actually got really good, but. So, first really good episode, uh, uh, first I'd say I actually think I had a great episode of the season, I was really into it, I thought it was a lot of fun, and yeah, and, uh, so that's it, and I'm, I'm really wondering what Noah and Hero are gonna try to do now, and once again, it's great to see Hero again, so, uh, yeah, uh, and now that all the characters finally have a goal and have stakes, that's, that's great, um, only took you six episodes, right, or so, uh, yeah, uh, YouTube, as always, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time, okay, bye.